what is up family i just really wanted to say um <sighs> Ooh, i look tired and that ain't going on um thank you so much to beck um we were texting today and i was going through it y'all hold on I was going through it y'all and I was just happy to have someone to talk to during that moment there's times like this when I'm going through things and I just kind of want to isolate myself and deal with oh, my sister I just want to deal with the situation on my own but her kind heart and you know just the connection that i have with her really makes it so that it's easy to talk to her easy to open up and i don't ever feel like she's judging me for anything so thank you back uh you you know what was going on i was gonna like talk about it but i'm just glad that i had someone to talk to in this moment because yeah I was really mad right now because I had to pay my electricity bill. Man. That's not fun paying bills, let me tell you. I don't know. Lately I've been, I don't know why, but I've been putting it off. Like I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just, ugh. I need to pay my water bill. I need to pay my water bill. I need to pay my gas bill. And then I'm caught up, but I'm just really like, I don't know wanting to do it and it's not like it's a buku it's like a hundred and maybe sixty altogether but gosh what's this spend their money and oh wait and then they have these so when i pay my bill it goes through bill matrix and they have these so we used to have it in san diego for one bill it was our electricity bill san diego gas and electric um but it freaking here they have it for every bill so not only are you paying your bill, but you have to pay $2, $2.50 extra per bill. That'd be adding up, okay? I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but with three bills, $90 a year just going to fees to pay my bill. That doesn't go anywhere. It's just a fee. Almost $100. Ugh, that is so ridiculous. So that makes me mad, and that's, I don't know. I'm just gonna pay every other month and make it forty-five dollars a year. That's that's my goals, man. Just don't want to pay. <laughs> I just don't want to pay. And plus, it's gonna drain the funds. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, so I will catch up with you guys later. Hopefully, I will be able to like put something in this vlog other than me sitting here looking crazy. It's five twelve, so no guarantees. I'm only up for another few hours. <laughs> But I will talk to you later. I love you guys and I will see you later. Bye. Alright y'all. I'm going to keep it like funky. Uh, me and my husband was not in a good way today. Like or yesterday. It started yesterday. Um, the reason for it is irrelevant. But um, I'm going to say argument style is not the best. Um, <coughs> let me take it back a little bit. Well a lot of bit to childhood. Um, my mom, she, she was a screamer, she yelled, and, um, quite a bit, and so I was traumatized from that, my battery's dying, and so when I got into my relationship, I wasn't very vocal, um, so I would get silent instead of vocalizing how I felt. I carried this on. I still do this now. I think I'm going to die right now. I still do this now to this day. I still um, really don't vocalize what is going on with me. And then when I am pushed, it becomes too vocal. So, so there's me um, not being vocal enough. And then there's me who's too vocal and you wouldn't want to be around me. During yesterday's um, situation between him and I, I said one sentence and then I stopped talking. So today is going on, I know it's past 24 hours um, since we've last said words to each other. Um, I need to work on that. That is something that's on me that I need to work on. But... I also do it to protect him because 
if I talk before I'm ready, I could say some things that I cannot take back. And I just prefer not to, to say some things like that. So I kind of just take my space and then I revisit the situation. It's really going to bother me because I have both my batteries and now I don't have either battery. I mean, I have my two new batteries, but I don't have my original battery. So it's something that I do need to work on. Something that I've had my whole life. It's not like, you know, and... You know, if you think about it, he's been with me half of my life. So he's been dealing with it for 20 years. Um, I would like to sit down and be able to talk to him. But there's times that I don't feel like 100% comfortable saying the things that are on my heart. I don't feel comfortable saying what's on my mind. Because I just feel like, you know, through the years I felt like my feelings were not valid so I tend to keep a lot of them to myself which was like why speaking to Beck today and having her validate my feelings was really really important because usually I keep that stuff in I isolate myself and I just stop talking to people in general just ask any of my friends I just shut down all communication and work through it and so this was like a first for me to actually in real time I'd be like this is what's bothering me and this is what's going on and I felt like it was huge and again shout out to Beck thank you so so much for being there for me during this time because girl but um she heard me out and I was like it's not so bad to share my feelings but again I have to work through the process of feeling that it's okay and that it's valid and that my feelings are worth being heard because that's just a lot of a me issue not even an anyone else issue it's just a me issue not feeling like you know what I have to say is important enough for the next person to hear so that's what's going on um I have stuck to myself today I kept myself in the room and um just try to work through some things I, I wrote down I wrote him a letter I wrote Kevin a letter it's on the bed over here I haven't given it to him but I wrote him a letter just kind of saying the things that were on my heart and it's a lot easier for me to write a letter and communicate than it is to actually um, say the things so he used to get these mountains and mountains of letters from me back in the day and then I just stopped doing it after a while but I just feel like in this situation I feel like it's the best way for me to communicate what's going on with my feelings and my emotions so I just decided to write a letter my nose looks red oh my gosh um, so I just decided to write in a letter it was on the front and the back so um, I don't know if I'm going to give it to him. I don't know if I'm just going to talk it out. I don't know. I just need to calm down first. And I just haven't got to the place where I'm completely calm yet. And so I'm just going to take a little time. He's not here right now, which is helpful. But um, when he does come home, you know we need to address it we can't just not talk you know even if that's how i prefer handling things but i just i don't know you guys i need to work through a lot of my childhood trauma of not feeling important or feeling selfish and you know i've been doing it step by step but in these moments like this i realize that i have a problem with communication and i don't do it at all and i don't do it very well so um, it's just on my end. I can help other people articulate their feelings, but when it comes to me, I have a hard time putting into words or making it, you know, to where I feel like, okay, it's cool for me to say this, for me to feel this way, and I don't have to worry about making someone feel bad. And that's just honestly the truth. Like, I feel like, oh my god, what's happening? I feel like I'm hurting someone's feelings when I express things so I just like don't express them and because I don't want to hurt someone else's feelings even though keeping it inside hurts my feelings you know what I mean so I put everyone um, before myself 
um, on Instagram today. It was just like, I ain't gonna kill them, but don't push me, you know? And in that moment, I was just feeling like, you know, he normally doesn't back off from me and he keeps pressing the issue and pressing it. So I was grateful that he gave me that space that I needed because that's usually what starts a real argument is me not having my space. And so, um, having a space, having time to reflect, is giving me the foresight to be able to speak to him later and talking to Beck because she like gave me that space to vent before I talked to him so being able to talk to her first get it off my chest and say it how I want like just what's all, like you know diarrhea it out of my mouth the way it just feels right now it's given me the opportunity to be able to better communicate with him because I had a filter first. First I filtered it through her and then when I communicate with him it'll come off better. If I don't have her or whoever as a filter first then it comes off wrong. So thank you for being my filter. Um, it's just amazing the things you learn as we all say all the time no one's perfect no one's relationship is perfect um we have been together a long time and there's still things that i know i have to work on there's still things that i have to do better because i'm just not a great communicator with him like or with a lot of people because you can ask any one of my friends and they'll be like she keeps a lot of things to herself she's always asking me if I'm okay but she doesn't really share and I'm learning to share like even a friend that I recently linked up with again I do tell her a lot you know in real time not like weeks after because I'm a weeks after person like after I've already went through it after I've already suffered then I'm telling you like everything but I just had already worked through it so Telling even the people that I do tell in real time is a big deal for me. I know it doesn't seem like it's a huge deal, but it's a huge deal for me because I normally take weeks after something's done to say it. So, you know, to me it's a huge deal. And, um, you know, it's just great to have friends. It's really good to have friends. I just, I can't, you know, despite what's going on with YouTube, I can't think it enough for helping me with my isolation number one number two bringing me um these friendships this tribe that I have it's just been such a wonderful opportunity you know what I mean if nothing else comes out of this situation I made some really good friends really great great friends I met some really amazing people I'm trying not to get emotional I met some really amazing people and I know that we will be friends forever so I'm grateful for that you know what I mean because I am very like I said prior like when I first started I am the most inconsistent consistent vlogger there is I vlog regularly well I haven't lately but I would vlog daily and not post anything and lately I've just been very inconsistent just because of how I feel and so um I haven't been posting I don't use my schedule like I used to and if I really want to take this to the heights that I want to um it's back um I have to Um, I have to, like, what did I say? I don't even know, I lost my train of thought. You guys, I lost my train of thought. I don't know. <sighs> but, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for YouTube. I ha oh, I have to be consistent. I have to post regularly I have to be consistent in order for me to take this channel to where I would like it to go and what I'd like to do with it so it's just up to me to be consistent it's just that um in points of my life where I'm having a lot of anxiety or going through a spell of depression or something like that I kind of don't post you know and because I feel like out of most like out of people that I'm really honest and upfront with my feelings about I 
YouTube is that place that I'm very upfront. So I show my true emotions in real time, like how I feel. And if I'm in those, those swings of feelings, I don't really like posting. So I just kind of stick to myself and like literally, you know, just try to work through it and then come back. But that leaves me as being the most inconsistent consistent vlogger you know what I mean just leaves me in this space because I have so many vlogs but I don't post them I delete them from my clips and I don't use them just because of how I feel or how I see myself when I'm editing like you know it's just I don't know I guess I'm gonna hunt down my battery. I just wanted to get that off my chest because I do really enjoy being honest with you guys about things and let you know the truth. Like, every day is not great. You know, like, since I've been sick, it's been really trying my marriage. It's really been, um, it's really been hard on us the last year and I you know I want to come out of this space and um just get to the point where this this cloud isn't there anymore but it, it's going to take time and effort on both sides and I just got to communicate so I guess I'll talk to you guys later all right love you bye guys I found my battery just so you know to you guys later. Hi.